Okay, people, welcome to a review of, or not review, um, first thoughts slash impressions on an anime that came out, I think, 2012, ended up being a huge hit to most people. Some people thought that it was absolutely the worst anime they ever saw, because it was up, it's actually up to you to think that if it's good or not. The anime I'm, of, of course, talking about is Sword Art Online. One, uh, sort of online two. I almost said one. Um, or uh, whatever you want to call it, Gun Gale Online, uh, Sword Art Online, the Phantom Bullet, whatever, whatever, whatever you guys want to call it. There's just, like so many versions of Sword Art Online. I'm just gonna call it Sao Two. So, Sao Two Episode One uh, starts off with this guy showing off about being top rank in the new VR MMO RPG. Gun Gale Online, aka GGO, and the guy's name is Zexseed, and I'm not talking about Xseeds, I'm talking about Zexseeds, not Xseeds from Fairy Tale, Zexseeds with a freaking Z. So then this guy out of nowhere comes up and shoots this sort of like TV because they're in they're in Gun Gale Online, so that the guy basically shoots the TV and the guy suddenly disappears out of nowhere. All right, and then this guy was like, "Oh, you should be feared, cause my name is Death Gun." Okay. So then the title appears from, then the title for Sword Art Online Two, uh, comes out sort of the title, and then the name of Episode One is called the Gun World or Gun World. And then you see Asuna saying that it's almost been a year, probably since the Sao incident, and. You know, all those years that she knew Kirito. Then our hero Kirito comes out with Asuna. And they go on a date, basically. <laughs> and literally, all there is that they talked about with the date was random crap. Like, like I literally put blah, blah, blah. blah more And more blah, blah, blah. Because that's all you ever hear is wah, 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 wah. That's all you hear. Which is annoying, okay? I mean, no. <laughs> So then after five minutes of blah, it goes back four hours earlier to Kirito with this guy in this restaurant. And this guy was actually the first person to see Kirito uh, a year ago at the hospital after he woke up from, sword, from the Solar Online incident. And this guy's name is uh, Kiki or I, I can't fucking say his name. <laughs> uh, Kikioa. Cesaru or whatever his freaking name is and he is like the Ministry of Internal Affairs Telecommunications Bureau it, it, It's all well, uh, Paper bro. Uh, I don't know. It's all blah Okay, this episode is like basically almost about blah uh, <laughs> Then they go detail about a guy who was dead five and a half days in a dirty apartment while wearing an amusphere, which is basically like a console. It basically, you know, you wear the thing on your head and it basically transports you to the VR MMO world. The, or the virtual world. So, while he, while, he, while he was playing, surprise, surprise, GGO, Gun Gale. And, surprise, surprise, Exec C. And he supposedly died of a heart attack. So, then... Well, maybe maybe Kira killed him. Hmm. K Kira, Kira probably killed him, you know? He has that death note. He goes, oh, you think you're tough shit? You're dead, sexy. Uh, but... <laughs> but anyway, you guys guessed it. You obviously know who probably killed the guy. It was obviously Death Gun. So then, Kirito and the guy is basically... The guy's like, yo, Kirito. Mind going to Death Gun or... Gun Gale online and finding death and find Death Gun, and, you know, make contact with them. And Gary just like, no, I'm not going back to no damn video game world. Why should I? I've been I spent two years in hell and I spent a few months trying to save my girlfriend. How dare you? Like, but he, he obviously he's gonna go with it because well, not much of an anime without it. But. <sighs> Then, you know, then the, the, the whole anime is, or the whole episode is just about Kirito and this guy talking about Gun Gale and all these murders. Because, you know, the same thing happened with Zexita with two other players. And, um, 
later on, to, like, and then it goes back to their date. Yay. And then, but you only see that for like a minute and a half. And then, after after that, you see this girl with a freaking sniper rifle aiming at some guys with like these huge cargo or some shit like that. You know, and the girl just, she, you know, just shoots them with the freaking sniper. She has a sniper. That shit's awesome. <laughs> so the, the girl basically shot them and then that's the end of the freaking episode. You know, then it shows the opening slash ending because, you know, in some anime, they don't show the opening till like the very end. That's the case with Sora Online. <laughs> and I should get some water. I'm sorry, I have like post nasal drift all of a sudden. But anyway, that's basically it. That's the entire anime or anime episode. I keep calling it anime. I know it's an anime, but it's an episode. So my first impressions and thoughts, <laughs> they're not really that good. Because the beginning of the anime starts off with this guy, you know, he, he just has this gun and this guy basically showing off and the guy and you know and he just shoots the TV and this guy dies and he disappears out of nowhere and then like they had that huge moment with Kirito and Asuna going on this date and all they heard was wah 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 because they talk about random crap that you don't even need to know probably and it's not really that good I do hope that later on it'll start picking up because usually that's what happens in anime you know it starts to start have a slow start but then you know it starts to rise and rise and rise to become pretty awesome or because it comes low and low and low and becomes pretty shitty but i really hope that doesn't that doesn't happen in the case of sword Art online because i actually enjoyed sao1 although i didn't like the second half of the anime i thought, I thought the second half of sao1 kind of didn't uh felt right oh and a belch uh i just think that it never had to be there especially that incest with this cousin like I'm sorry no incest for me I hate incest no incest that's bad bad you there it's bad if you have relations with your sister or your cousin or your mother or father <laughs> okay well then <sighs> that basically wraps up my first impression I do hope that it gets a little better and people don't start immediately bang wagging in it because like I said with a com a Kame got kill people usually tend to bandwagon in new animes which is not really that good because if you keep bandwagging an anime people are gonna get turned off and people are not gonna watch your anime that's just no but I do hope that doesn't happen in SAO 2 that much I mean obviously people are gonna bang wag it because they are because you know Fans of SAO One is gonna obviously love as fans, of, or you know, P fans of SAO One is obviously gonna attract the same pe the same crowd of people from SAO Two. It's just mm. damn with all this talk in my throat <sighs> and my sinuses is just all not much stuff talking too much. But that basically wraps up this. I just hope that you know. It becomes a lot better, and then towards and when the anime finally ends, I hope we don't have a shitty second half because, just to be really honest, I really didn't think the second half had to be there. But whatever, uh, I guess I'll see you guys around. All right, and then I'll do one more first impressions thought, and we'll go from there. Okay, so next first impressions thought, we're gonna go talk about Tokyo Ghoul. Can't wait. Peace.